while Judaism seems overwhelmingly to be this great source of comfort to you and Gail, you also talk about the points where Judaism or faith, let's say, sort of conflicts with your grief. You call in the book the concept of the afterlife a quick fix and a form of denial. You also talk, I think, very powerfully about how unhelpful the phrase is, everything happens for a reason, or mm. God has a plan for everyone, which is like, how would God have a plan for your two children to be killed? Yeah. The most emblematic moment, I think, of your expression of that in the book is when your wife, at the time she's a TV writer for the show Blackish, when they're killed, she goes back after three months to the show. Mm. And before she does, she sends a note to the whole cast and crew. And in it, she writes about how she was finding tremendous comfort in her Judaism. But then she writes this, and I want to read it. Quote, if your worldview includes the belief that my tragedy is part of God's plan or that my children are in a better place, please don't share that with me. It'll only upset me. I believe their deaths were senseless and random, and there's no better place for them than here on earth with me. I hope you understand. How often did you have to express that kind of thing to people? How much were you encountering the kind of pablum of everything happens for a reason? Yeah. And did that ever set you off into like incandescent rage? <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a great question. Um, so, uh, so Gail specifically knew that there were members of of the the crew on Blackish that did feel that um, that um, that they were in a better place um, and that and that God has a plan. Well, that's so, a very traditional tr Christian yeah, conception. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, and so she was, again, protecting herself, um, which was very wise. Uh, so she didn't hear that. They they got it right away and didn't share those thoughts. Um, and, and I feel like, uh, and I, I sort of alluded to this to earlier, but uh, I have no problem with people who do believe in that um, and, and people who are grieving who believe that. I think that's wonderful if you can have – anything to help us in our grief. So if you have a belief system that that the person you lost is in heaven and you'll be reunited later, great. Um that's wonderful, but I but it's not a quick fix to the to the grief we have on earth. That that's what I that's what I think. Um that we all need to be allowed to grieve. Um because we all lost even if you believe in heaven, we still lost someone here on earth. 